turn to page 18 of your iPod. We're going to be solving for Y. What I need you to know is that these are essentially four steps that you're doing every single time. You're going to move the X, change the sign, divide by the number in front of the Y. Don't forget to simplify. So here we have a negative X, a negative 2X. So we're going to move it over and it's going to become a positive 2X. I'm not sure why that's a 4 there, but that should be a 2. So now we've moved it, we've changed it, and now we're going to divide by the number in front of the Y. The number in front of the Y is a positive 2. If you look here, that was a positive 2, so the positive 2 is going to get divided every single thing. So 2 divided by 2 just reduces to 1, which is why you just see a Y there. 10 divided by 2 is 5, and then 2 divided by 2 is 1X, or we just will write it like this. Y equals X plus 5. Now on this one, we did the same thing. We circled the X. So move the X, change the sign. Move the X. We changed it from a positive to a negative. Step 3, we're going to divide everything by the number in front of the Y. So remember here we have a negative 5. That's why these negatives came with. So everything gets divided by negative 5. So negative 5 divided by negative 5, that's just y. Negative 15 divided by negative 5 is 3. Negative 10 divided by negative 5 is 2. And remember, we bring down the x. So the way we write it is 2x plus 3. So let's take a look at example one. So you should notice that right away this is a positive x, so when we move it over it should be a negative x. So I'm going to move this over and I'm looking at a negative x. Now I'm going to divide everything by the number in front of the y. So the number in front of the y is negative 2. So I'm going to divide everything by negative 2. Now don't forget that there's an imaginary 1 here. That'll come in handy in just a minute. So now we have negative 2 divided by negative 2. That just reduces and you're left with y. 8 divided by negative 2 is just negative 4. And then when you have two negatives, it gives you a positive, and that just reduces to 1 half x. So we would write the equation y equals negative, I'm sorry, y equals 1 half x minus 4. And the reason why we're writing it where the x is first is because that will come in, like, in handy a little bit ways away and we're solving this for um, y in slope intercept form so again this will come in handy uh, I'd say about two three weeks from now when we're, when we're starting linear equations okay number two so we have a positive x again so we're going to move it and it's going to change to a negative x now, is there a number in front of the y? Well, technically, there's a 1. So, that's what we want. We want it to be a positive 1, so we're done. So, our answer would be y equals negative x plus 7. Now, for those of you who really want to see why that's the case, I'll do this extra step just for you. Remember, there's an imaginary 1. Well, this will just reduce to y. Seven divided by one is just seven. Negative x divided by one is negative x. So this right here becomes this. 
So is it necessary to divide by 1? No. Can you? Yes, but I think it's at an extra step. So let's look at number 3. Knowing the information that I just told you, now we should be able to skip a big step. So we're going to circle the x. So step 1, move the x, change the sign. So this is a positive 3x. And now we divide by the number in front of the y. Well, the number in front of y is just 1. So you leave it alone. So remember, we want the x to go first. So this is 3x plus 8. And that's our answer. Now number four is a little bit different because the number in front of y is negative. Okay, still so same concept. Circle the x and move it. Change the sign. So this is a positive 7x. Now, I just said that because the sign in front of the y is negative, that means you have to divide it by negative 1. Now, two negatives give you a positive. Two negatives give you a positive. A negative, a positive and a negative will leave you with a negative. So we'd write our equation y equals negative 7x plus 7. So the key thing on this, I guess you could say, is if it's negative, you have to divide by negative 1. If it's positive 1, that you, then you don't have to divide it. Alright, number 6. Same steps. Move the x. Change the sign. Divide by the number in front of the y. The number in front of y is negative 3. So y is equal to, this reduces to negative 4. Negative 4 divided by negative 3 reduces to 4 thirds positive. Two negatives equal positive. So our equation is y equals 4 thirds x minus 4. And hopefully you have the hang of this now. So last one, move the x. Change the sign. Number six is done the same way. We're going to circle the, the term with the x. We're going to move it. We're going to change the sign. And we're going to divide by the number in front of the y. Now we're going to simplify. So these reduce. This reduces to negative 6. 12 divided by 2 reduces to 6x. And remember, we want the x to be first. And that's our answer.